Good afternoon and welcome to a home walk. Are you tickling daddy? <laughs> so today we have a lot of fun things planned. Where are we going? Are you tickling daddy? Is that a ticklish spot under somebody's eye? He's like pinching my cheeks. So wait, where are we going right now? Jackson, where are we going right now? To the car wash. That was you what were... he just said. Yeah, so he said he wanted to go to, through the car wash and we said we would do it after his nap. So it is a little bit later in the day than we would normally start the video. So we're gonna go to the car wash and we yeah. also have to go to the yeah. grocery store. Um, but while we're on our way to the grocery store, I wanna show you what we did yesterday. Ooh. Because all the way up. All the way up? I don't know if I can. That's, it's, ah. he's getting so heavy for me right now with like where I'm at in pregnancy, um, but I'm trying. So yesterday we actually got the stuff for our, uh, Halloween, I almost said our Christmas costumes. Christmas costumes, I'm <laughs> for Santa. Our Halloween costumes, so we'll show you that. But also we went to, what else? Oh, we went to TJ Maxx. We, we didn't need anything from TJ Maxx, but we left with everything. So while we are um, headed to the store, or headed to the car wash, we'll insert those clips from TJ Maxx. I don't know if we filmed while we were at Walmart, did we? Uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Well, it, we'll, we'll insert all the clips from yesterday right now. Isn't there a song about TJ Maxx about like, you should go? What? That's what it's called. I think it's like, da, 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 you should go, TJ Maxx. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. We're going to TJ Maxx. These are fun, like Halloween y type stuff. Happy hunting. Oh. Highly potent arsenic poison. <laughs> are these salt and peppers? Maybe. No, I think they're just decorations. Well, what are these? What do these say? Oh, they're eyeballs. Oh, they're eyeballs. Can you grab that ghost over there that's a pirate? This one? Yeah. I'd like to know your backstory, <laughs> Mr. Ghost Pirate Man. He's on it. Well, he obviously runs a ghost ship. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. What about that devil gnome? Why he's, is he well, the he's, devil? He's just dressed up for Halloween. Oh, do gnomes yeah. do that? I mean, this one does. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what is this? What is he dressed up as? Oh, he's, he's dressed up as a cat. And he's going trick-or-treating. Oh, well, that's fun. They are cute, but they always look a little dirty, don't they? I think it's because they're made out of like um old dog hair. Kind of dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. We have something like this hanging from our stairs. Yeah. But without the ghosties. I love it. Everything seems to be fifteen dollars. Oh, is this the fifteen dollar shelf? Look at this. Who knew? This is a, probably a doorstop. It's got some weight to it. Oh, even candy corn dresses candy up. Candy corn for Halloween. dresses up as a devil for Halloween. I love it. Is the devil the like the new it costume? Maybe. In candy corn and, and gnomes. <laughs> Look, this this gnome's dressed up like a skeleton. Man, I love all these cute things. You know, I just I feel like we don't we don't decorate for Halloween like we we used to. We used to really go all out, but not yeah. anymore. You know what? What? I'd like to see a ghost dressed up as a skeleton because I think that would be funny to me. Well, because they don't have any bones. Right? That's what makes it funny. What's that? It's a pillow. Oh, it says, little monster lives here. Little oh. monsters live here. That's cute. That was very hard to read for me. I love it. It's so funny because it, places like TJ Maxx, they have such a wide array of brands and things like that. And then you come across some random Disney thing. It's a, a Mickey Mouse ramen bowl with chopsticks. Yeah, but like, why is it here? Well, because I, I, this is like an overstock. Like whenever they have too much stuff that didn't oh. sell, they bring it here. Like whenever they, they have just too much wood. Well, I was looking for- Too many like <laughs> slices of wood. I want, I want something to put next to the sink to put like our soap dish on or like our soap. You know what I mean? You know how you see all these like aesthetic TikToks where they're like, this is how I made my kitchen look cute. And That's they put a, put a slab of wood over there. Yeah, just to put your like, all right. you know what I mean? So Sam, let's look over here. Get one of those. I like the top one. You like this one? Yeah, because it doesn't have any holes in it. It has one, yeah. One hole. What's the hole for? To hang it? I don't know. Yeah, I guess this is Is this like... art? <laughs> is it? I don't know. It might be art. I don't think it's going to hold up good against the, the, the liquid. Water. Yeah. I think that'll give it character. Okay. What is this gnome doing real quick? What's happening? <laughs> well... <laughs> that gnome's doing a pole routine, right? <laughs> Um, I also want something like this to put my jewelry in when I'm washing the dishes. That's, a, that's for bar soap. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was for jewelry. It can be for jewelry if you'd like it to be. Oh, okay. Get it. It's a little a little wooden boat. It doesn't have a price. Oh. Okay, we'll see. $15.99. Oh, I need this. I need to get this. Here you go. What is it? 
baby gherkins. Just a, a little jar of pickles. And baby cornichons. For three bucks. Ooh. All right. Oh, and then when the gnomes are all done with Halloween, they dress up as Christmas trees. You know, is Delia's a 90 brand? Do you remember brand? Delia's? Oh, it totally is. I used to get their catalog and like... Well, we if would... it's still around now... I think you can... Well, do you, who remembers the Delia's catalog and who wanted everything in the catalog? I did. Me. I loved it. And now you can get an AirPod Pro case for from Delia's. For candy corn. Candy corn. So, we found more things than we needed at TJ Maxx. We'll show you what we bought when we got home. TJ Maxx haul! It was... We never go there. We should go there more. What? Actually, no. We shouldn't go there more because we spent too much money. Right. But now we're headed into Walmart because we're looking for... As you guys might know, Jackson wants to be a ghost for Halloween. Ghosty. So we're going to be like a family of ghosties. Yeah. But we need to find just single sheets. Right. We'll see what we can find. Maybe we can just find fabric. Oh yeah, just fabric. Yeah, maybe that would be, be easier. Easy. Yeah. Good call. We should have got hit by a car. Hold oh, on. Gosh. Why did we pay so much for pumpkins? Well, we got ripped off. Right? We paid like $15 for a pumpkin. Yeah, these are good too. Right? Oh man. You know what? The next day I was up at that same place and they were like throwing all the pumpkins away. They were That's so why they were $15 because they had to pay for loss. I think. Ooh, what are we gonna be? Five Nuts at Freddy? Minions? Who's this? Fish stick? That's Bendy. Never heard of him. This is, that, that is the worst like Michael that. Myers mask I've ever seen. I kind of like it though. Oh, this is like the guys at Bush Gardens in the bushes. Yeah, same with this one. Oh yeah. There it is. And how much is this? Uh. Does it say it's down here? It's like $2 a yard. Okay. Right? How many, how many yards do we need? Three feet in a yard. I mean, we could get like this for him though. He, he doesn't need this big. Two yards of diaper cloth. I don't know, I mean, they have other stuff. It's not diaper cloth. Two yards of poly cotton. Yeah, this feels very thick. What's the, is the diaper cloth thick? Yeah. Hang on, let me get my glasses. <laughs> See, so like, that's just enough for you. How do I look? You look kind of like a ghost right there. Do I? Yeah. Spooky. Okay. So this will be me. Okay. You did um, it. We can get this for, So do I just take, give all this to them? I think you have to take it up to the cutting counter and have them like measure it so they know how much it is. Oh, right. Okay. All right. So now we're back from TJ Maxx and Walmart and we'll show you what we got later on when we get home after we go to the store because we got some cool stuff. I definitely think if you're looking for like holiday decorations, TJ Maxx is a good place to look. And then Walmart was, you know, we just went for the fabric really, but um, they had, did they have, I don't even remember seeing a lot of costumes there. They had a lot of costumes. Did they? They yeah, definitely had them. cheap pumpkins. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. We should have got our pumpkins from Walmart. What happened? Sorry, we were, we saw our friends, so Tim honked at them. But uh, now we are headed to- Can I get some eggs first? Yes. Yeah, we're headed to the car wash and then we have to go to the grocery store. Fun stuff. So before we go to the grocery store, we're gonna get the car washed. What do you think, buddy? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Jackson asked to go to the car wash, so we said, all right. And because he asked to go so frequently, we just got like a membership. So we paid, I think, 50 bucks for unlimited car washes for the month. We can get our car washed every day if we wanted to. Whoa, do you see it, buddy? <laughs> Oh, I wish we had taken, so we have like a cover on our on our top thing right here. I wish we had taken it off so we could really see. of admission alone. You like the car wash, buddy? I like the car wash, it's fun. Yeah, this one especially, because it's like a party. It's like all different colors. We did it! What do you think, bud? It turned off and then it turned on again. It turned off and turned on again? Yeah. Oh, the car wash? Yeah. Maybe because- the brush Oh, the brusher things? Yeah. I wonder if somebody was coming in behind us. Like maybe there's somebody else getting a car wash too. I think that is. Yeah, I think so. Or they used to they used the no color the no colorful one now? The no colorful one? Yeah. Oh, the other car wash? Yeah. 
Well, I think we'll just do one car wash today. What do you think? <laughs> He's like, can we go through 10 car washes today? All right, so we're back from the oh, store. Man, the kitchen's a mess. Don't show it. Oh, I'm, you can't see it. It's over there. <laughs> we're back from the store. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys everything we got at the store. This was an impulse buy. <laughs> this was like an assorted donut thing that they had. We got these, which are pretty fun. So it's like apple, peach, sweet potato, apple, strawberry, zucchini. So it's like fruits and veg, some blueberries, some Greek dressing, eggs, soda water. I found this, which was exciting. Clearly Canadian, who remembers this? This was one of like my favorite things back in maybe, I don't know, middle school, elementary school. But I got the, do Canadians really drink this? That's my question. But I got cherry. We got some kind breakfast bars. The goldfish were on sale. Tim got this and didn't tell me. And that looks delicious, I want that. Jackson's new favorite snacks are these things, peanut butter and grape flavored. They're like, I think I showed these in another video, but they're like little, almost like cookie. I don't know how to explain it. They're like little pillows filled with peanut butter and jelly. And he loves these. Got some cheese. We got some Cheerios were on sale. This is my favorite cereal ever. Raisin Nut Brand, love it. If you've never tried it, you should. It's so delicious. And then we got some cereal bars. Jackson loves these. We got some oat milk, almond milk. This is wonderful. If you have a night where you don't have anything to make for dinner and you want to have like a quick, easy thing, this is like a frozen dinner, but it is so delicious. We got Jackson's chicken meatballs. He loves these. They have like carrots and other veggies in them. Some just turkey from the deli. English muffins, have one every morning, love it. And then we got some, I've been craving like cheese and crackers. So we got some butter case cheese. I don't know what that is. It just sounded really good. And we got some cheddar for Tim. Jackson actually picked out that cheddar. And then we got some raspberries and blackberries and strawberries. Salad was on sale. And then this is one of their uh, Publix brand salads, but it's really good. It's like their Makoto honey ginger salad. It has pineapples and soybeans, um, and the dressing is just really delicious. And I think that was everything that we got at the store. But anyway, I don't know if anybody really cares, but this is everything that we got at the grocery store. So something that I always find really interesting is there's always like families on like the front page of YouTube that show their grocery hauls. It's always like, like five kids and what we eat in a week type thing. So um, I don't know, I always find it interesting. So that's what we got at the store today. And a lot of it was stuff that we, that wasn't on our list, <laughs> but, but looked good, so we got it. So Jackson is in bed, he's not quite asleep yet. And when we were at the grocery store, Jen turned and she said, I've been craving a good donut. Oh. And we got Publix donuts last week and they weren't, they were okay. They weren't they, very good. They were like more cakey than, I don't know, it wasn't like a true donut to me. They didn't have enough icing on them for me. Yeah, it was like not a Krispy Kreme donut. Say it. What? They were dry. <laughs> Every time Tim does a food review and now you'll like never not hear this, he says it's dry. Well, and that's a, that's a, a product of the theme parks because they, they mass produce things. So like it is dry. So everything's dry. You're not yeah. going to get like, if you go to Cosmic Rays, you're not getting a juicy hamburger. Yeah, yeah, You're going to yeah, get yeah. a dry hamburger. Yeah. You know? What was the last thing we filmed for them? I feel like it's been hours since we filmed. You showed the, the grocery haul. Oh yeah, so then we had dinner and we just like hung out, got him ready for bed. I mean, you didn't miss much. <laughs> yeah, our dinner wasn't even, it was a salad. We had a yeah. salad. We, we made salad. the that salad that I showed you in our grocery haul. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you know what we're gonna eat right, we're gonna eat right now. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> a donut. And I wanted to ask you, what? where are they? There they are, okay, mm -hmm. let's go look at them. So here's something, cause these are not from, we didn't go to Krispy Kreme and get these donuts. We went to Publix where they sell Krispy Kreme donuts. And it says, 102422 22 is like in the future the sell by date. these are future donuts i don't oh. want to know i want to know when did you make these right right like just tell me when you made them maybe they made them today you think i think they get Krispy Kreme deliveries every day it was an em the shelf was empty though right that means that it's going to be full again tomorrow i bet you if we go back to publix tomorrow it'll be full you think? like tomorrow morning okay well, these are the donuts we got. So I wanted to ask you, which one are you like most excited to eat? Well, I don't know. What do you think is inside of the filled ones? All right, I don't know. Boston it, cream it doesn't tell and you. jelly. You think, let me just look, because I think you can look in the hole. The hole's in the, oh man. Oh, it's like whipped cream. Yeah, that's my kind of donut See, right I there. See, I want custard. Ooh. 
This is my favorite donut in the world. You can have it. But I want I want a, a custard filled one. And this one's just jelly donut. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, it looked like a jelly donut. I said I've seen a jelly donut a hundred times in my life, and that's a jelly donut. I think I would like the this one or this one. Yeah, these are really good. I don't know what the flavor of frosting this one is. Let's see. But they're kind of spooky, right? They got is this strawberry frosting. It smells like strawberry, yeah. Okay. It's, but yeah, got it's like sort of like like Halloween colors. Halloweenish. Kind of disappointed in the in the sprinkle coverage here. <laughs> But this is the this is like a traditional Krispy Kreme donut. Look at that! Look at the glaze, though. It's so like thick yeah, and. That's because they they float them down a glazed river. Yeah. They send them through a glazed waterfall. I really want to go to Krispy Kreme and get like fresh donuts now. Yeah. I don't know that. Was, so with my last pregnancy, I didn't crave sweet stuff. I never. Ooh. What? And Jackson's very sweet. You like spicy stuff, and Jackson's sweet. Oh no! Do you think our next baby's now gonna be spicy? Yeah, he's gonna be caliente. <laughs> oh no. I definitely feel like with this pregnancy, I've been craving vegetables, like, like you know, vegetables and ranch, like crudite, like yeah, crudite, that kind of stuff, or like vegetable, like sauteed vegetables, and then like donuts. Oh, <laughs> that's what I've been craving. I love it. So you know what I've been craving this pregnancy? What cookies? You always crave cookies. Mm, but it does happen to be also during this pregnancy <laughs> that that is happening. That's true. So now we're probably going to eat a donut really quick, but then we're going to talk to you a little bit about some like life updates that we've had going on. This week especially has been like rough. Yeah. Like it's been a rough week. So, um, and the next coming weeks are also going to be rough, but fun, but spooky, but also scary. <laughs> At first it'll be scary. <laughs> Then they'll be fun. Yeah. Then they'll be scary again, but in a spooky way. Yeah. So that's what that's what our life has been like this these past couple weeks. So let's eat this, and then we'll be right back. But really quick. What? Before we go into that, that spooky, fun, scary, scary than fun, then scary than, but in a spooky way thing. That was Madison from She-Hulk. But like, how wild is it that She-Hulk has changed? Like by the end of the series. I totally forgot Madison was even there. Oh, really? Yeah, because the the, the storyline changes mm. immensely. So they don't talk about Wong and Madison anymore? Spoiler. Oh, a spoiler for you. I've never even seen the show. I've never watched a single episode. Yeah, you don't even know who Madison is. <laughs> no, I do because of the memes. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was like a meme. By the way, this is a delicious donut. And I think what it is is like, do you see how like, Oh, um, let me let me be a, a beauty guru right now with my donut, great. but it, it's kind of like aerated and like very like I don't want to squish it because my glaze will go everywhere, but it's very squishy. Whereas the Publix ones that we got were more cake like and like dense, and that's not what I want in a donut. Right, you, you want know? that in a cake? Yeah, I just don't like a cake donut. I agree I with know. you. Who's with me? But also, if this didn't suit your fancy, we were gonna have to step it up another notch what? and go to the salty. Oh my gosh, I want to go there anyway. It's delicious. So we've never been there, but our friend gives us salty donut. It's it's a like a, a donut restaurant. Yeah, it's a it's a donut bakery, I guess. You would yeah, call it. but they came from Miami. And okay. Now it's up here. But they have like amazing donuts, like so delicious, way better than this. Yeah, and this is really of, good. Think like Everglazed, but not as big as Everglazed. So like you could actually eat them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I don't love Everglazed donuts. They're too big. They're just, That's the issue. They're too sweet. They're not right. because there's there's so much of them. There's so much sugar in there. I'd rather have a Voodoo donut. Okay. And those are cheaper, I think, too. Now, voodoo donuts are remarkably cheap. Yeah, but for being the a theme park. Glaze or Everglazed has other good stuff though. So um, so yeah. Yeah. Donut talk. Side note: We've been talking about TJ Maxx this whole time and didn't explain what a TJ Maxx is. Well, so in the UK, it's I think TK Max. TK Max. Yeah, it's a store. What do you think the TJ or the TK stands for? I have no idea. I thought it was a person, but maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Let me look. Stand I'm gonna of a hair dryer. Um, <laughs> so basically, I think they get overstocked items, or like items that stores can't sell. So like if Bed Bath and Beyond can't sell a bunch of pans, they ship that overstock to TJ Maxx. And TJ Maxx sells it at a lower price. So it's all name brand stuff, but just cheaper, a little bit cheaper. Cause it's like, I don't know, last seasons or something like that. But like the stuff that we bought, doesn't matter that it was last seasons. All right, so we didn't find out anything about <laughs> so, TJ Maxx. Well, after looking, 
it's not named after anything in particular, I guess. The the founder's name is Bernard. So that's not where TJ Maxx came from. But it did the name in the UK, it's TK Maxx because you guys already have a store called TJ Hughes and they didn't want to confuse people with like thinking that it was affiliated with TJ TJ Hughes, so they called it TK Maxx. But that's all we found out. But yeah. TJ Maxx is like a discount store basically. We should make up something. What? It stands for Thomas James Max. <laughs> okay. Because, there you go. And that was the dog of Ber Bernard's dog. Mm. And it was a St. Bernard. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's the, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. Somebody changed the Wikipedia page. Oh. <laughs> so, as you saw in the clips, we went to TJ Maxx because we were looking for uh, fabric or for like sheets to make our our ghost costumes because Jackson wants to be a ghost. Yeah. But we didn't find any of that there. Instead, we bought other things that we didn't need or we kind of need. Yeah. So we found this pan that looked cool. Just like a little fry pan. $12.99, it's like a ceramic pan. I don't think it is actually ceramic. I think it's it, just- It says it's ceramic. No, it says you can cook on ceramic. Oh, well, I don't know what it's made out of, but it looks really nice. It's like it's made of stone. Oh yeah, like stoneware. We also, I needed a little a little pot to like, so we get this um, this vegan box and it's, it's only two portions. So whenever I make like the quinoa or the couscous or the rice, I, I only have humongous like saucepans. Right. So this is enough for like two to three portions. Well, baby saucepan. Yeah, so it's a green pan. This was... $16.99? $12.99. Yeah. How much was the frying pan? $12.99. $12.99. Are they out of their minds? <laughs> we also got these strainers because our strainers just broke. Yeah. So this was $6.99. And they have like, they're color coded, like they're, the handles are light colors. Well, colorful things. So that's fun. These were on clearance and they're just like chip clips. But it was yeah. three bucks for like 10 magnetic 15, chip clips. 15, isn't it or is it 10? No, this one was oh, 10. Oh, okay, yeah. Magnetic chip clips. There you go. So those, we needed some more of those. Then we also got these because I thought maybe I would put this next to the sink and like put our soap on it next to the kitchen sink. Just so it looked a little bit nicer, but it's, um, it didn't really work out. So I think actually I'm gonna return this or figure out another way to use it. It was $9.99. And then we got this little wooden, I think it's for soap. I think we showed this in the video. Yeah. But I want it so when I'm like doing dishes or something in the kitchen, I can put my like jewelry and stuff in here. Yeah. And it'll just be like on the windowsill. You and know what I mean? And that was also $9.99. Yeah. So this I will keep, I don't, I'm still thinking about this one. Maybe you could put, um, could be a, a surfboard for a hamster. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, well now we have to get a hamster. This is costing us more money. I also got this like linen and room spray and it's French lavender. Oh. So I thought it smelled really nice, like very like a fresh kind of scent. Yeah. And then in the, I think in the video you might have seen there was like a Christmas tree um, soap. We bought that too. Okay. Just like a foaming hand soap. But I put it, oh, it's already in the bathroom. Oh. So I didn't, sorry. But it's just. I'm gonna go use it. It smells like a Christmas tree. And then. I found this, but it's like a, a little quartz and like a little sun kind of a thing. And it's one of those double layer necklaces. It was $17.99. And I feel like this will, it seems like okay quality, but I think this will be pretty. Luna Norte, I've never heard of this brand. Oh. But it's also for positivity and healing. That's what the genuine Druzy quartz does. Druzy? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, it says, Keep your jewelry items looking fresh and bright by storing them in a dark, dry place. We have to get a jewelry cave now. Oh no, <laughs> this is costing us so much money. What, what the heck? Um, and then, oh, one more thing, two more things. So we got this pillow, cause it says, little monsters live here. And I like the colors and I thought it was cute. So oh. it's just like a fun Halloween pillow or it could really be like an anytime pillow. I'm gonna go with anytime. Yeah, I was gonna put it up in Jackson's play area. Okay. And it's really like nice and soft and like squishy, so I think he'll like it. Um, this was 20 bucks. I thought it was gonna be cheaper. Oh yeah. But this was like a splurge. And then we got- I was got... trying to take it out of your hands, but you were like oh, not sorry. letting go of it. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. I was just trying to help. And then we got these little ghosty garland. This was oh. $15. Ghosty garland is my favorite spooky band. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And so we're gonna put this up in Jackson's play area too. I think he'll love this. He like loves ghosts. So there you go. That's everything we bought at TJ Maxx. Yeah, we, a good time. we ended up, it's funny. Like you go to TJ Maxx and you think, um, you know, oh, I'm going to get out of here. Like 
with such good deals and I'm gonna spend like little to no money. But you go in there and you buy things you don't need and then you spend way more money than you meant to. I'll have you know, the only things that I picked out we needed. <laughs> we needed a pan, we needed colanders, and that was it. Well, I just couldn't, it was cute. All the stuff was so cute, so. That's true. Sorry. And then we went to Walmart and we got our um, fabric. So we ended up finding that at Walmart. But I will say that the fabric section at Walmart is kind of like willy nilly. Yeah. There's not really anybody that works there. We had somebody from the automotive section come and help us. Yeah, she was great. Like, she was like wonderful. I was happy that she came to help us. But it was very much like I, I had to ask a bunch of different um, associates and they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and then it ended up we took a photo of her phone and took that up to the counter and that's how we paid. Yeah. She's like, just have them scan this barcode. And I was like, okay. It, yeah, it was pretty willy nilly, but it worked out. We got our fabric. We probably spent more on the fabric than we would have on just buying a ghost costume. But this will be more, like it's handmade. Right. You know? So then we ended up also getting some permanent markers while we were at Walmart because all of our black like Sharpies, I just don't think they were gonna be dark enough. I think they were kind of all dried out for the eyes to like make the eye parts of the ghost. Yeah. And then I also got this nail polish. Oh yeah, it's just like pink. It's called In A Blush. Oh. I always wanted to like be the person who made up the names for nail polish because it's always so clever. Okay, think of a nail polish name right now. Well, no, but I can't. That's what I was gonna say oh. is that I'm not clever enough to come up with nail polish names. <laughs> like In A Blush. I would call something like Pink Cheeks. I bet that's a color. I bet you it's a great color. It probably is. What about the inside of a nose? That's probably not a name of a color. <laughs> what, what color would that be? I don't know. People would buy it because it's weird. What color would it be? What, what color is the inside of your nose? It'd be like a weird pinky red brown color. Mm, that sounds fanta fantastic. <laughs> I almost said fancy and fantastic, so it came out as like fancy-tastic. Fancy-tastic. Oh. So something that is... <laughs> Um, so something that's really funny that Jackson does is sometimes when he sleeps, he like puts his arms behind his, like the back of his head and we call him vacation baby. Cause that's, he looks like he's like on vacation. Like, look at this vacation baby for real. Like his legs are crossed, arms behind the back of the head. His little belly's out. <laughs> he's like on vacation. Right. This little baby. He's so cute. By the way, he's loving his big boy bed. Loves yeah. it. So. Uh, a little bit of a life update, a little bit of news. Oh yeah. So this is something that was like definitely a bummer that happened this week is, well, it happened, we knew previously, it just, this week is like when it happened. Right. But so Lynn, who has been with us since the, since the beginning of the year, she's been with us for almost like, t she's been with us for a full 10 months now. Yeah. So she has a master's degree, um, which is for like a higher level of education. And she was offered another job to teach at that higher level. Right. And um, it was just, it was a, a, an offer that we couldn't compete with, unfortunately. Right. So um, unfortunately she is no longer with us, which is really stinks. Right. But the good news is, is that she's not, not a part of our lives. Right. Um, which is something that I'm, I'm so grateful for the fact that we, I don't know, built such a great relationship with her. And yeah. Jackson did too, obviously like he loved her. He still does, he loves her, but She's gonna come and um, still do like, sometimes come and see him, like come yeah. and babysit for us. But also um, we're just gonna try to stay in touch. Yeah, and like so, see her on weekends and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. So that's a bummer. Um, I know that she became part of the channel, that, which is why we're telling you. Normally we wouldn't even mention it, but she like really did become part of the channel even though you never met her. But I know a lot of you guys were, you know, asking yeah. about her and stuff. So wanted to let you know that she's no longer with us. Uh, yesterday was actually her last day. So we did find somebody else who's going to come and um, do that same position with Jackson. Right. Um, her name is B, and we're very excited that she's going to be starting soon. Yeah. So I don't think that you're going to see her either. She's not somebody that you're going to meet, but she will definitely be a big part of the videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> behind the scenes and it was just a very stressful part of like our life because we had to try to fill that position but also make sure that they were the right person right you know make sure that that jackson was comfortable that we were comfortable that they were comfortable 
um, and that they could fill that role like like Lynn did. Right. So yeah, there's our big life update. Yeah. We uh, you'll you'll probably be hearing us talk about B in the future, but um, you probably won't see her. Just as like a, a heads up. Right. So we had like a working interview with her today, and it went really well. Yeah. Everything yeah everything was really good. So we offered her the job, and she took it. So yeah. there's that. It'll be good. Yeah. So. There's our little, our little life update, but yeah, so it, it's just going to be, I don't know, a new, a new, new chapter. chapter yeah. yeah. So, so there's that. So another thing we just, since we're going through all of our life updates with you, we have like just a pregnancy update. I am at 20 weeks right now. So we're officially like halfway through oh. and I know, isn't that crazy? We did it. Like it's, it's just going by so quickly. It's been really tough on me. <laughs> really? Like, no. <laughs> Like, why? <laughs> no, that is a joke. I'm not, not doing anything. You're doing I mean, you are. Work. No, no, you definitely are. But like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so after this holiday season, we will definitely have more home vlogs and more, like updating you more because I feel like we just haven't been talking about it very much. There's so much going on. I know. I mean, I, I talk about it like every day, just not to the video because we've, there's just so much stuff going on in like the theme parks and we've been like on all these trips and it's just, it's been a lot. Right. So uh, I try to update you guys as much as I possibly can. But right now, what I'm really going through right now is I, so because this is my second pregnancy and I talked to my doctor about this, but I started showing like really early, like, and I was like, is this normal? Am I, do I have like triplets in there? Are there, is there more than one like baby in there? Why, why am I showing? Like, why am I so big so early? And she's like, no, it's totally normal with your, with like, your second, you know, after the first kid, your body, it's like muscle memory. Your body right. knows. Like, oh, I need to make room. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, we're pregnant again. Like, let's do the thing. And so my my belly hasn't really changed from like three months until now. And now I, I feel like it's gonna do that. Like it's really gonna pop. But I'm having pain like in my belly from, I think everything. Organs moving around. Yeah, things expanding and stuff like that. Uh, also, we felt the baby move. I think we talked about that in a live show. Yeah. But that was really exciting because um, I was really waiting for that moment to to feel him. You know. Oh, move. you know what else the baby did? What? Bought a bunch of stuff at TJ Maxx. <laughs> what that baby? <laughs> How dare he? <laughs> he? <gasps> no, they are. No. Don't make me feel like I'm like slay because I'm the one. Like I let it slip in the live show. So like, I keep feeling like, oh my God, did I do it again? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so yeah, so that's basically what's happening right now. I've been having a lot of pain in my belly, like normal pain, nothing, there's nothing wrong. Everything is, I'm, I'm having a very like healthy pregnancy, but it's definitely been, I don't know, just like uncomfortable, I guess. I'm getting uncomfortable in my like sleeping, whereas Jackson comes in the, our room every morning and we'll like, he'll get up at like six and we don't really get up until seven. So he'll lay with us for like an hour and in that hour, I have to lay very uncomfortably because he wants me to lay with him and that hurts me. Right. But I have to, like, I'm gonna do it because he wants me to, you know? And he refuses to lay with me when mommy's there. <laughs> if mommy isn't there, he'll lay with me. Right. But if mommy's there, he prefers mommy. Well, but I'm always there. When I am I, know. When am I not there? No, when you like get up to go to the bathroom or something. Oh, then he'll come lay with you? Yeah, he'll lay with me. Okay. That's the other thing. I've been going like pee like a hundred times at night. So I just feel like I'm not sleeping very well because I'm constantly being woken up to go to the bathroom. You know, so I'm not, I'm not getting that like deep sleep. I'm having sympathy peas too. <laughs> you? I've been waking up a lot in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom too. You, he just goes right after I go. Yeah. So this has been bathroom talk. <laughs> oh. with Tim and Jen. Another thing, with TIM. Yeah, exactly. But another thing is when you're pregnant, you have like crazy dreams. And I had this really crazy dream that I went to go get a pedicure and I fell asleep during my pedicure and I was, and it felt so real. And I fell asleep during my pedicure and I woke up like they you woke- You slept in your dream? Yeah, I was asleep in my dream. Wow. I know. And they woke me up and they were like, hey, we're- Did you have another dream? We're no. Like Wouldn't that inception? be weird? Yeah, that'd be like really weird. That's how you know- A dream within that, a dream. But that's how we would know that we're like in a simulation or something like wild like that, you know? Because you dreamed within your dream? Yeah. Okay. Right? So, but they woke me up and they're like, hey, we're closing. You know, you have to get up and pay now. And I was like, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I can't believe I fell asleep. And then they charged me $650. Oh. 
in my dream because I fell asleep and I was there like all You're day. charging you by the hour. Yeah. And I was like, what? And like, I couldn't dispute it. So I just had to pay you them. Were, you were asleep. Yeah. And I, 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 so I just paid them $650 and for a pedicure. That was my dream. <laughs> it was like, I just keep having these really weird dreams. Hmm. So that was the last one that I can remember. But that's our day. We, we did our shopping. We got our Halloween costumes, like 80% done, I think. We didn't even do anything. We just really need the fabric. Right. I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out. I think it's going to be cute. He's very excited to be a ghost. Okay. So I think it's going to be cute. I can't wait. Because we're doing something really fun on Halloween. So I think he's going to, I think he's going to love it. Halloween's so cool. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's our, our little shopping haul, our life update, our we went grocery shopping, you know, all the stuff that you guys care about. If anybody's wondering what we're going to do on Halloween, we're going to light the black flame candle. Oh no. That's fine. <laughs> we can it? we can light the black flame candle. Why? I haven't seen the movie. We have a child. Oh, that's that part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> seen it i don't know you haven't seen hocus pocus i mean when it like when i was a kid maybe mm, okay yeah i don't really i don't remember that's okay it's just a bunch of hocus pocus <laughs> dad jokes oh <laughs> set up that whole thing so now we're gonna go to bed i think we're tired we're gonna go to bed we're gonna get up early tomorrow and do something fun oh so there you go yeah thanks for listening to us ramble all in all it was a fantastic day and with that being said we are off I forgot because I'm old. <laughs> and now it's time to pay the price. We'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to say that, didn't yeah. I? See yeah. you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.